Price. I'm the design professor in the theater arts department. We're now entering the dimmer room of the playhouse. These are the ETC dimmers that control the brightness and dimness of all of our stage lights. And all of our stage lights are controlled by this ETC EOS light control board. There are two touch screens in the back of the board here with all of the uh, manual controls at the bottom down here plus the encoders for making all the changes in our moving lights. We have 33 moving lights that can be controlled by brightness, intensity, direction, pan, tilt, zoom, color. Uh, they're extraordinary in addition to the standard rig of regular stage lighting instruments. The upper side here is a monitor that shows the current Q stack, the Qs running for the show, that are operated uh, by the board. On the other side of the board are two more touch screens. This touch screen shows the position of all of the moving lights in the theater, and simply by touching one of them we select it. Then using the encoders, we can tell that light to pan, tilt, zoom, change the color, and so forth. In addition, we can manually enter the addresses of any of the conventional stage lights. This is an extraordinary state-of-the-art kind of a system, allowing a student who learns to program this board to be eminently marketable. Let's go from the lights area now over to the sound area of the lighting control board. I paused briefly to show that we have in memory of our guru, Gene Funderburk, who died in 2013, but who was instrumental in setting up many of the features of our sound control board. Here's the sound control audio mixer, digital mixer, that allows us to mix sound sources, but the major feature of the sound control is the Mac computer running QLab software, which lets us do all kinds of sophisticated arrangements for uh, how the sound is faded, blended, overlaid, transitioned, and so forth. In addition, we have a hard drive associated with this computer that has thousands and thousands of live uh, searchable sound effects uh, that make it an extraordinary resource that saves having to go search offline for sound effects. So the combination of this sound control board and the lighting control board in the booth overlooking the Playhouse stage gives a student interested in technical theater a leg up on effective education about technical lights and sound. We look forward to showing you these spaces in person.
costume designer, costume shop supervisor here in the theater arts department at Furman University. And I'm going to introduce you to the costume shop. Um, this is the costume shop. <laughs> um, and it's where obviously we build all of the costumes or acquire all of the costumes for the productions here at Furman. We produce in-house and our students do the bulk of the build. And if that's a thing that you're interested in, please contact me. Again, my name is Margaret Catarasano and my costume shop assistant this term is Jamie Reedy and I'm sure he would be happy to answer questions from a student's perspective if you're interested. So I can't really think of anything to tell you other than we are obviously equipped <laughs> to stitch and make masks and um, we have a computer program that will take measurements and provide uh, patterns built to the actor's measurements. Here is our little dressing room. It has our laundry facilities and at the moment it still has the costumes for the wolves hanging in it. Here is our big dressing room which again has the costumes which never got struck properly because we all left in a big hurry for the wolves. And now I'll take you next door and we'll um, see where costume storage is. <laughs> been organizing this for me because he's and he's so excellent you'll love him and I've been busy <laughs> and so when we finished with a show obviously we strike the costumes in here and sometimes they go in kind of willy-nilly topsy-turvy and he's been squaring things away organizing it and tidying up he's already done this row and again if you're interested love to have you this term I'm working kind of alone but please get in touch with me or get in touch with Jamie